Hey everyone, Jason back once again with another diecast review. Today we'll take a look at the Auto World 164 scale Leah Pritchett, now Leah Pruitt, 2018 Angry Bee 1320 NHRA Top Fuel Dragster. Now, if you're interested in picking these up or other NHRA diecast collectibles, I picked them up from my friends over at groundpounded.com. Link to their website in the description below. And if these two models are available still, I'll link them in the description as well. Today, we'll be taking a look at the standard version on the right and the Ultra Red Chase piece on the left. They are an awesome release from Auto World. Their 164 scale dragsters are pretty cool and they are very seldom released anymore. So, if you ever get a chance to pick up any of the 164 scale dragsters, I would highly recommend picking them up. All right, go ahead and look at the card art just for the standard version. We do have the Auto World logo, of course, NHRA Championship Drag Racing. This features authentic race graphics, die cast metal body, soft rubber tires. Got Leah's simulated signature there. Of course, 1320 Angry Bee. Leah Pritchett, 2018 Angry Bee 1320 NHRA Top Field Dragster. Of course, got that vertical Auto World logo going up the side here. Got the die cast feature nicely in the bubble. This is 164 scale, as I mentioned. This was release one, number one in select series. So, like I said, I don't think they released too many models in this series anymore, especially 164 dragsters. On the back here, we do have a write-up about Leah Pritchett, Leah Pruitt. So feel free to pause the video if you'd like to read any of this information. You can also check out my review of the Terry McMillan Amelie Motor Oil, uh, the Antron Brown Tools for the Cause. Top Fuel Dragsters as well. Those are here on the channel as well. So that is the packaging. Let's go ahead and pan the camera down and remove it from the blister and take a closer look at it. As I mentioned, I got mine from uh, groundpounding.com. Very nice uh, website and group of people over there at groundpounding.com. Go ahead and zoom in here. Up here on the front wing, we have Dodge. Got Penzo, U.S. Army on the side plate of the wings. We've got rubber tires with Goodyear lettering on the side of it. Got the 1320 Angry Bee logo on the top of the body. On the side, we have Papa John's, Fire Aid, Penzo, Mopar, and U.S. Army. As well as the 1320 Angry Bee logo and Dodge. Got 511 Tactical and American Flag on the side of the cockpit. Got 1320 Jags, Impact, Macro Tools, Sandovic, and more contingencies on the side plate here. Leah on the canopy. Of course, Mopar and Sparking Ice on top of the canopy. We've got silver painted details for your, all your fastening rivets and stuff for the uh, plexiglass window on the canopy. Let's see if I can get this to open. The canopies do open on the 164 scales. They are, as I mentioned in past reviews, just plastic, so be careful if you're opening them. It does feature roll cage and, you know, fairly decent uh, detailed interior on the car. But as I mentioned, all plastic, so you need to be very careful when opening and closing them. Got the uh, E3 spark plugs logo there on the supercharger. Just black molded plastic for that. Engine detail, and you know, it's what you expect for 164 scales just black uh just silver block of plastic got more sponsorship logo down here below the exhaust of course goodyear eagles on the rear got okuma goodyear and more on the struts of the rear wing got top fuel 777 mopar and hra traxxas and pennzoil on the side plate of the rear wing nothing on the top Nothing on the bottom. We do have the parachutes, wheelie bar, and non-moving rear little wheelie bar wheel. There you go. This side is basically the same as the other side. Bottom of the car. Of course, it is a two-piece rear cha uh, two-piece chassis. You can see right there where they meet up. This is tooling number TFD sixty-four dash zero zero one. So yeah, that is the standard version. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Ultra Red, which I'm not opening the Ultra Reds. Your Ultra Red traits are red tires, white wheels. Got the Ultra Red for the front wing. The chassis is all Ultra Red paint. As you can see there, the rear tires are also red with white. 
The wing on the back is ultra red. So that is the traits. Basically the wings, the tires, and the chassis itself are all ultra red. I do not know how limited the ultra reds are for these releases of 164 dragsters. They're not really numbered like a normal auto world release so finding out how many ultra reds were made for the NHRA stuff is pretty hard to do. So yeah, that is the ultra red and the standard release of Leah Pruitt's 2018 Angry Bee 1320-164 scale NHRA Top Fuel Dragster. If you enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more. I post new diecast reviews throughout the week, so be sure to click the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on future reviews. You can find me over on Twitter at JasonAStrain69. Once again, check out GroundPounding.com, linked in the description below if you'd like to check out their wide selection of NHRA drag racing collectibles. And once again, if this is still available, either the Ultra Red or Standard, I'll link it in the description as well. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this review. See you next time for an all-new Diecast Review. Bye.